on your mic. So, for buoyancy, we now have introduction and history. Konting history about buoyancy. So, alam nyo ba kung sino nagpakana ng buoyancy? Siyempre, ang ating father. Father. So, the great uh, scientist, which is um, Mr. Archimedes. Archimedes was possibly uh, the world's greatest scientist, at least the greatest in classical age. He was a physicist, mathematician, astronomer, inventor, and engineer. Just ko na sa ng lahat. Most of his inventions, theories, and concepts are still in use today. Perhaps his best known achievement was his Eureka moment. When he discovered the principle of buoyancy. So, alam nyo ba, ang buoyancy is na-discover niya lang dahil curious siya sa isang bagay na tinatawag na crown ni King Heron. So, andito yan sa paragraph, no? Bali, ikakwento ko na lang sa inyo. Yung kasing crown ni King Heron was claimed to be pure gold. Kumbaga, 100% gold daw yun. Pero sabi niya sa sarili niya, hindi ako naniniwalang purong ginto yan. Hindi talaga. Kasi parang imposible naman eh. So, kumbaga sa panahon ngayon, sabihin mo ba yung kwintas mo is pure gold? So, baka hindi. Kasi most of the time, kaya nga tayo may tinatawag na K, ba diba? So, 24 karat gold, 12 karat, ganyan. So, hindi mo masasabi na pure ang isang accessory. So, uh, inisip niya, paano ko kaya mapapatunayan dito kay King na hindi talaga yun puro ginto lang. So, accidentally, accidentally ba? Or siguro, isang araw, <laughs> isang araw, naligo siya. Tapos, syempre, uso man na dun yung bathtub. Hindi pa naman yung modern na bathtub. Pero siguro yung in the... Uh, Classical age, siguro yung mga tub na gawa sa bato, ganyan. Naglublub siya sa isang bathtub. Tapos, pagkapasok niya dun sa bathtub na yun, punong-puno ng tubig yung bathtub. So, pagpasok niya, may nag-spill na water. So, syempre, pag, ba diba, kapag lulusong ka sa tubig, kapag yung weight mo na inexert dun, syempre, yun yung matatapon na, ano, na tubig. Then, hindi pa niya nare-realize yun at first. Inisip niya, bakit kaya may natapon na tubig? Siyempre, yung mga classical age yan, hindi pa naman yan yung super uh, tulad ngayon, modern times na halos alam na natin lahat. Siyempre, nagkakreate pa yun ng mga theories noon. So, yun, nai-conclude niya na, ah, kaya, kaya may natapon na tubig kasi dumagdag ako sa tubig. Gets nyo? <laughs> So, ibig sabihin, yung weight, yung timbang ko na inexert ko pagpasok ko ng tubig, ang siyang nag-spill or nawala din doon sa volume ng tubig. Definitely, the volume I exerted is the volume displaced by the fluid. So, woo, mula doon, nakita niya kung paano niya mapapatunayan na yung weight ng crown ni King Heroin, Heron is not pure gold by, syempre, if he knows the specific gravity of the gold and the property of it, mapapatunayan niya na siguro by properties nga, yung weight ng isang gold, kung titimbangin mo yung pure 100%, is not equal to the, to the weight of the crown ni King Heron. So, therefore, dun niya napatunayan na ang galing niya. Yung crown is hindi nga pure gold. Kasi magkaiba siya ng timbang. Sa isang, kung ikukumpara mo sa tunay na gold. And then, sa sobrang ka-excited niya, tumakbo-takbo siya sa streets running naked down. Shouting Eureka. So, alam nyo ba ang meaning ng Eureka? Parang in Greek word siya, no? So, in English, that means, I got it, I have it, gets ko na, alam ko na ang sagot. Parang ganun. So, sobrang ka-excited niya. Nagtatatakbo siya. So, medyo nakakahiya yung ginawa niya, no? Pero anyway, doon niya napatunayan ang importance of buoyant force. 
siya. Ang galing ng history. Naliligo ka lang, may napatunayan ka na. <laughs> anyway, so, here in Archimedes Principle. Actually, Archimedes Principle, nagamit natin namin sa grupo namin nung research ang Archimedes Principle. Kasi ang gamit namin is fiberboard. So, niloblob namin siya sa tubig. Tapos, yung volume nung nung nakuha namin na sample is yun na yung volume na nawala or natapon na tubig. Parang ganon. So, imagine mo in practical situations, di ba, kapag nagpuno ka ng water sa isang glass, tapos kapag nilagyan mo siya ng tubig, ay, I mean, ng ice cubes, di ba, ano nangyayari? May part na natatapon, di ba? So, kung punong-puno lang naman, di ba? Uh, hypothetical. punong-puno ng tubig, lagyan mo ng ice cube, tapos kapag may nag-spill over dun, that means that the ice cube, the volume of the ice cube is equal to the volume of the displaced fluid. Yun. Okay? So, ano pa ba? Tinatagalog ko na lang to ha? So, you can read it naman as is. And then, in Archimedes' principle, it states that any body immersed in a fluid is acted upon by an upward force, buoyant force, equal to the weight of the displaced fluid. This principle, also known as the law of hydrostatics, applies to both floating and submerged fluids, and to all the fluids. So, ano ba? So, for example, consider this body of shown in the figure, itong cylindrical, no? So, kapag in-immerse siya, I meaning, iniloblob natin siya sa tubig, yung kanyang components na mabubuo mo dyan is definitely, number one, yung weight ng body, and then number two is the buoyant force acting opposite the direction of the weight. So, meaning, kung ito yung weight ng body, may mag-aakt na buoyant force. So, ito na yung napatunayan ni Archimedes na ang buoyant force pala is nag act kapag meron kang inimmerse or isinabmerge na body. And this uh, uh, buoyant force is equal to the volume displaced multiplied by the unit weight of the liquid. ba? Diba? So, saan nakukuha ngayon? ba? Diba? Properties of fluid. Unit weight is equal to the weight over volume. So, by transposing that, we will also get weight is equal to unit weight times the volume. So, jaan nang galing din yung principle ng buoyant force and ng weight. O, ba diba? So, later on, we will have a discussion naman on the problem solving regarding this figure. So, mas maganda kasi kung i-apply na natin siya agad in um, practical situations or problems, ba diba? Para mas naiintindihan. Okay. So, here, hello, wala ata ako. Hello. Hello. nawala tayo mga pi anyway ayan umiikot pa naman ang ating ruleta, ang ating timer so ayan. eto na lang siguro yung formulas na pwede nyong gamitin for buoyant force is from 1 to 4 no? so sulat ko dito yung equation 1 equation 1 is weight is equal to the buoyant force is equal to gamma V. So, dyan iikot yun, yung equation number 1. Now, for simplified versions, pwede mo rin siyang gamita ng ganto 2, 3, and 4 equations. V is equal to SG over SG ng liquid multiplied by the total volume for homogeneous solid body. Big sabihin, isang liquid lang yan. 
homogeneous eh, di ba? Tapos, if the body of height H has a cross, cro, constant horizontal cross-sectional area, such as vertical cylinder, so the depth is equal to, itong dito sa figure, so D is equal to SG ng body, itong cylinder, divided by specific gravity of liquid, multiplied by the total height. And then, if the body is of uniform vertical cross-sectional area, as in this figure on the right, so you can use the shortcut formula of AS or the area of the section is equal to a specific gravity of the body over a specific gravity of liquid multiplied by the total area. So, ang AS is the area sec of this segment na submerged, no? Yan lang. So, area naman na A, so bigger A, that is the total. So, actually, kahit hindi mo naman tuumin itong tatlo, itong tatlong formula na to. Kasi, kung dito lang iikot yung formula na weight is buoyant force is equal to gamma V, so ito lang din yun, basically. No? Pero siguro, suggestion, shortcut nga ito. So, mas mapapabilis ang buhay kung alam nyo rin to. Pero i-explain ko naman na kaya nating i-solve ang problem sa buoyancy using just this. This only. Itong kulay red na rectangle na yan. Makukuha at makukuha pa rin natin yan. No? So, ano pa ba? Okay, proceed na tayo siguro sa sample problem since... Mas maganda na ma-expose na tayo sa problema ng buhay. <laughs> yeah. So, for buoyancy, ito. Wait. Yep. An iceberg, number one, an iceberg having a specific gravity of 0.92 is floating on sea water or salt water of a specific gravity 1.03. If the volume of iceberg above the water surface is 1,000 cubic meter, what is the total volume of the ice? So, explain ko lang. Diba, ito yung iceberg. So, alam nyo ba kung ba't namatay si... <laughs> Grabe. Kung bakit namatay si... si... Si Jack, kasi di, di din siguro nakita nung captain na sobrang laki pala nung iceberg, no? Natatama sila sa isang iceberg. So, for example, wala lang. Ginib binigay ko lang na example. So, this is a block of a gigantic iceberg, no? Yan. And then, ang na-found out natin na volume is just... The volume above the water surface. Kasi definitely, ang makikita lang naman natin dyan is, yun, nasa ibabaw, ba? Diba? So, unless sisirin mo ng napakalalim itong parte ng tubig or ng seawater, malalaman mo rin. Pero parang wala pa naman nakakagawa sa atin nun, ba? Diba? Napakalamig niyang temperaturang dyan. Mamamatay tayo dyan, anak. Okay? So, ang nakuha na volume is equal to 1,000 m cube. Now, we still don't know the volume below. Siyempre, definitely. So, itong part na to, we don't know that. So, yun nga yung hahanapin natin, di ba? And then, given naman yung specific gravity ng ice of 0 0.92, and then given din yung specific gravity ng salt water, Salt water is 1.03. Ayan. O, sige, dito na lang. SG is 1.03. Now, what is the total volume of the ice? So, yun yung pala tinatanong. Volume total. Ayan. And then, to get the volume total, syempre, we have to sum up the volume of the ice above and the volume of the ice below. So, VD. Let us call this shaded 
portion as our VD para consistent. Ang ating discussion. Anyway, so let us call the shaded portion na nasa ilalim as VD. And then the above is VA. Therefore, the total volume is called VA plus VD. Okay? Now, paano natin na alamin yan? Okay? So, punta ko sa next slide. So, ayun na nga. Kasi ang buoyant force, ang prinsipyo nito, syempre, ang mag act na weight is, syempre, definitely, due to the weight of the ice. So, W ice. And then, kapag may nakasubmerge tayong property ng body that is acted upon by a counteracting buoyant force, or aka BF. So, yun lang, basically. Kailangan mo lang syempre alamin kung ano ba yung weight ng ice tapos ano ba yung buoyant force. So, by the summation of forces along y or equilibrium, ba diba? Summation of the vertical forces, we will get the W of ice is just equal to the buoyant force BF ayan so first we have to find the weight of the ice and the weight of the ice is will be uh, I mean will be given by the formula unit weight of ice by volume of ice yeah. So, saan galing yan ulit? Uh, property of liquid or fluid. Unit weight is equal to weight over volume. So, dito lang iikot yung formula natin. Ano? And then... To get the unit weight of ice, syempre, we have given 0.92 of a specific gravity. So, unit weight of ice is equal to 0.92 by the, di ba, SG? Ah, sulat ko din dito sa gilid. So, SG of an object multiplied by unit weight of water that is the unit weight of the object second property of fluid so sg.92 by unit weight of water so 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter that is the unit weight of ice now to get the volume of ice diba v ice is equal to, syempre, the total volume of the ice. So, VA plus, kanina, VD. VA plus VD. Yan. So, meron na tayong property ng weight ng ice. Ang kailangan pa nating alamin is the buoyant force. Now, to get buoyant force, buoyant force is the equal to the unit weight of the liquid Ito lang tandaan nyo ha. Unit weight of liquid multiplied by the volume displaced of volume displaced by the 
object. So, kumbaga, eto explanation lang. Ang buoyant force na i-consider mo is just yung nasa loob lang ng tubig. I mean, nung liquid in general. So, hindi mo na kailangan i-consider yung nasa ibabaw niya kasi nga, ayun nga kay Archimedes, kung ano lang yung timbang nung na ilublub niya na sarili niya so yun lang din yung naging effect ng buoyant force so definitely ang V na i-consider volume na i-consider is the VD or V of the displaced volume na nakasubmerge okay so liquid VD <laughs> so to get the unit weight of liquid you have to multiply the specific gravity of the liquid that is sea water or salt water. So, 1.03 multiplied by the 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter. Ayan. And then, to get the volume displaced, you have to denote that as our unknown. <laughs> Kasi di pa naman natin alam. So, V, volume of the displaced is the volume of this shaded red area. Na, nakalublob lang sa tubig. Okay? So, now that we have the different composition of the formula, so can I rewrite it down? Ayan, given man dito yung given, given yung given. So, sinulat ko na lang din siya sa malinis na uh, pagkakapresent. Ano? So, anyway, now that we have W is equal to BF from the first equation dito. Ayan. So, W is is gamma V. So, 0.92. W is pala is equal to the buoyant force. So, that is equal to 0 0.92 by 9.81 unit weight by the volume of ice is VA plus VD is equal to the buoyant force of asana gamma. So, 1.03 by 9.81 by the volume T. And we have VA is equal to 1,000. Diba? Given. So, ang kailangan na lang talaga nating alamin is yung volume nung nasa ilalim. Okay? So, by calculating, you will get 0.92 by 9.81 by 1,000 plus X is equal to 1.03 by 9.81 X. Chip solve. Okay, so nasusundan. Pag may tanong or pag hindi medyo malabo yung Napa. naglalag kasi ako eh. So, the volume displaced is wait lang. Hindi na naman yun. Eight thousand three hundred sixty-three point sixty-four cubic meter. Didi palang yan. So to get ang tinatanong is the total total volume of the ice. So to get the volume 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 total, iad mo siya sa VA. So one thousand plus eight three six three point sixty-four. So, ang total niyan is around 9,000. <laughs> Wag na tayo mag-calcue. Madali man lang. Oh, 9,363.64. So, yun yung prinsipyo ng buoyant force. Ano? Sige nga, tingnan natin doon sa malinaw na solution.
Oh, di ba? Nakuha natin 9364 pareho. <laughs> so, yun lang. Basta ang kailangan nyo lang alamin is ano ba yung weight tapos ano ba yung buoyant force na nag act So, by summation of forces along Y or the vertical components of W is equal to buoyant force. So, yan ay pang isahang liquid. No? Ito, present ko sa inyo another solution. Diba, sabi ko sa inyo, yung shortcut na formula. So, by using VD is equal to SG of the body divided by SG of the liquid times the volume, pwede mo siyang i-direct substitute dito sa equation. Pero, sabi sa inyo, kung alam nyo yung principle nung summation lang ng W is BF, parehong solution lang din naman na makukuha. I mean, parehong sagot lang din naman na makukuha. Yan, ano? So, bigay ko na lang din sa inyo to later on itong presentation. <laughs> so, next problem. Ayan. Paano naman kung block, block of wood having 0.6 by 0.6 meter by H in dimension is thrown into the water and floats with 0.18 meter projecting above the water surface. The same block was thrown into a container of liquid having a specific gravity of 0.9 and it floats with 0.14 meter projecting above surface. Determine the following. So, the value of H, the specific gravity of the block, and the weight of the block. Okay. So, itong situation naman to, binigay to nung board exam. <laughs> So, share ko lang. CE Board, May 2003. So, ang kanyang nangyari dito, may dalawang situation, no? So, na-throw siya, I mean, itinapon siya sa water, tapos itinapon din siya sa may specific gravity of 0.1, 0.90. So, dalawang pagkakataon siyang itinapon. Sana all, pinabalibang na lang. <laughs> Huwag mo ko tinatapon-tapon mo na lang ako ng ganyan. So, dito sa water, napag-alaman natin na ang nakalutang, ba diba? So, ano ba ang term yun? Floats with 0.18 projecting above the water surface. So, ibig sabihin, ang nakalutang na part is 0.18 meters sa water. Tapos, doon sa pangalawang situation, so kung ito yung block, naka-float siya or yung... yung kanyang taas from water surface is 0.14 meters. So, magkaiba yan. Siyempre, kasi magkaiba naman tayo ng liquid na pinag-eksperimentuhan. ba? Diba? So, ang tinatanong, what now is the total height? Since ang nalaman lang natin again is di yung ibabaw lang. So, kailangan pa pala nating hanapin kung ilan to. Si D1 saka si D2. No. Yan. Or DA na lang siguro. So, DA and DP. Sorry man. Yan. Now, to get the height, syempre, i-analyze natin ulit yung kanyang buoyant force saka yung weight, ba? Diba? So, syempre, iisa lang naman ang weight niyan. Weight of the block. Pero magkakaiba tayo dito ng buoyant force later on. Bakit? Kasi magkaiba nga ng property. So, ganun pa rin naman, WB is equal to the buoyant force. Now, for water, for water, the weight of the block is equal to the buoyant force exerted by the water. So, lagay ko siya ha, as water. Para hindi tayo malito. And then, for SG, di kasi natin alam kung anong tawag dito sa liquid no for SG.90 the weight is equal to the buoyant force due to the specific gravity of 0.90 ganyan na lang okay next ayan okay
Wait, ito yung focus. Duplicate slide ko na lang. Ay, hindi ko na-erase ang galing. Now that we have the two conditions, two situation, pwede ko ba siyang isa-isahin na? So, weight is, again, the formula for weight is gamma B. No? So, dito lang iikot yan. So, weight of the block is equal to the unit weight of the block. Unit weight times the volume of the block. So, unit weight of block, volume of block. Hindi pa natin alam na, ang daming unknown. Kasi, wala ding specific gravity yung block. Wala ding weight. So, unknown muna. Ilagay ko na muna siya as is. Is equal to the buoyant force of the water. So, for buoyant force, we will also use the formula for unit weight of the liquid multiplied by the volume displaced. Okay? Take note of VD. So, that is only the volume displaced by the fluid. And then, hiwalay ko siyang ititreat, ano? So, for SG, balik ako dito sa kanan. So, unit weight of the block multiplied by the volume of the block is equal to unit weight of the liquid and then the volume displaced. So, pareho ko na lang siya para sabay-sabay. And then, di pa nga natin alam ito. So, let's say YB, VB is equal to, eto, alam natin, unit weight of the liquid. Ang water, ayan, kahit nakapikit, dapat alam natin na 9.81 kN per cubic meter ang unit weight niya. And then, the volume displaced, hindi din natin pala alam. So, can I say that that is equal to Area is 0.6 by 0.6, di ba? So, ang volume kasi is, di ba, area by length. So, 0.6 by 0.6 times length. So, that is, simplify ko na lang. 0.6 by 0.6, 0.36. Area of this cross section is 0.36 square meters. Then, sulat ko na lang siya dito kung kasya pa, 0.36 square meter by T V displaced liquid lang, no? So, itong part lang na to. So, I will call that as our D. Ds of A. Diba kanina, sabi ko DA to. So, DA muna. And then, sa kabila, sa kanan, hindi ko pa alam ang unit weight, hindi ko din alam ang volume, pero alam ko ang unit weight ng liquid na may specific gravity of 0.90. So, 0.90 by 9.81. Siya. By the volume displaced, so area is uh, uniform, so 0.36 pa rin naman yan. Ang nagkaiba lang is the depth. So, at what, I mean at, fluid of 0.9 so iba yung depth nyan so I will call that depth as T of P okay so magkatimbang na then DA pwede ko bang i-rewrite ang DA in terms of H para at least 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 5 unknowns pero equate natin sya so H is For water, H is DA plus 18. Therefore, ibalik, ibalibag ko yung 0.18 sa kabilang equation, makakakuha ko ng H minus 0.18 meters. Okay? H minus 0.18. And then dito sa kabila, yung DB, yung displaced liquid na nasa ilalim, That is, dahil may nakalutang na 0.14 meter kanina, so can I rewrite that also as H minus 0.14 meters? Okay, so magkaibang fluid, magkaiba ng height. Okay, so next, i-rewrite ko siya dito yung naging 
ating equation for water. This is for water. And then this is for the liquid. Liquid point na. So, gamma B is equal to hindi ko matandaan. So, 9.81 by 0.36 0.36 by h minus 0.18 tapos dito is gamma b v b is equal to 0.9 by 9.81 by 0.36 by h minus 0.14 yan ok so may napansin kayo magka like terms like terms nyo yung gamma and the volume gamma and the volume. So, pwede ko siyang i-equate, no? Para mag-get natin yung unknown height. So, therefore, uh, gamma VB is equal to D gamma VB ng kabila. So, two equations equating that, we have 9.81 by 0.36 by H minus 0.18 is equal to 0.90 by 9.81 by 0.36 by h minus 0.14 okay gets na yan na yung long equation natin now shift solving that using calculator or algebra kung kayang manumanuhin why not so 9.81 by 0.36 multiplied by x minus 0.18 is equal to 0.9 by 9.81 by 0.36 by x minus 0.40 and we will get an answer of 0 0.54 meters so nakuha ba lahat? 0.54 diba? ang galing so sa dalawang situation nakukuha tayo ng equation para mahanap natin agad si value of h siya. Sige nga. Next, i-check ko kung tama yung height. <laughs> Ayun. O, tama. Diba? 0.54 meters. By using two equations yon And then, to get the specific gravity of the block, so, SG of the block, pwede mo siyang i-substitute again tuun sa una nating equation or sa pangalawa either of the two gets paano po di pwede nating sabihin na wait lang o oh, na yun dito o oh, sige gamma vb 0.96 pwede mo na siya i-substitute actually yung height so 9.81 by 0.36 by 0.54 minus sabihin natin 0.18 para sa water so, ang makukuha mo na weight is 1.27 kilonewton, which is correct from this. No, direct substitution na lang yan. Tapos, to get the specific gravity of the block, you have to, pwede mong gamitin na ito agad as 1.272 by 9.81. Tama ba? Weight is gamma ay mali, over by sorry, sorry so, a specific gravity is weight over the volume divided by yung 9.81 na weight ng the specific gravity ng ng water so, 1.272 divided by 0.36 square meter by height is 0.54 Ang unit weight is, unit weight of the block is 6.54 kN per cubic meter. Tapos, divided by 9.81. So, makakakuha ka dyan ng specific gravity of around 0.667. No. So, di ko na siya iisa-isahin. Pakibasa na lang dito sa solution. Since, ang specific gravity naman saka ang weight is prelim, prelim topic yan ano, so, pwede mong gamitan ng SG is gamma of the block over gamma of the water 
and then yung weight is um, gamma of the block divided by volume of the block by using the nakuha na height 0.54 ang galing okay so proceed ako sa eto Ma mabilis lang din tong number 3 matakil natin lahat ng problems now for the stone that weighs 460 newton in air when submerged in water it weighs 300 newton find the volume and specific gravity of the stone now, ito, hindi naman given yung kanyang mga specific gravity whatsoever. Ang given is weight. So, dalawang klase ng weight. 460 newton, saka 300 newton. So, ang tanong, ma'am, ano po ang gagamitin namin dyan na weight? ba? Weight in water is 300. So, as you can see, kapag inilublob mo siya sa water, mas gumaan siya. Nararamdaman nyo ba yan pag nagsiswimming kayo, pag nagfa-floating, ba? Halos lumulutang na lang talaga tayo sa tubig kasi may buoyant force na nag sa body natin. So, yun na nga, dahil may buoyant force, we can say that the buoyant force is the force that makes the stone lighter when submerged water. When, when it is submerged in water. No. Thus, the difference between the 300 newton and 460 newton will be equal to the buoyant force already. Okay? So, this is a tricky question kasi given nga is weight. So, kung hindi ka masyadong familiar at hindi mo alam po anong gagamitin mo na weight dyan sa dalawa. So, wala dyan sa dalawa. Kasi that is magkaiba yung na-exert na buoyant force kapag na-submerge na siya sa tubig. So, mas lighter, mas, oo, lighter meaning magiging difference na nung 460 minus 300 newton, that is equal to 160 newton. And then, to get the volume of the stone, you have to now use the formula of unit weight times the volume. So, if the buoyant force is now equal to 160 newton, so, kung nakasubmerge siya in water, so, the unit weight of water is 9.81, you will get the volume. So, volume naman of the stone is as is, as in 100% volume siya kasi nakasubmerge nga siya. Meaning, lahat ng parte ng stone is nasa ilalim ng tubig. Okay? So, there is a term for fully submerged. Kapag sinabing fully or submerged, that is lahat ng parte or volume ng, ng isang body is nandun. No? Kung partially submerged, kapag sinabi naman partially submerged, so may part lang na nakaangat sa, sa, sa air. So, meron kang part na kailangan mong hanapin. ba? Meron din namang halimbawa floating. Floating at a height of ganto at height of blah blah blah. So yan yung mga terminologies na kailangan yung malaman. Kapag floating at height of ganto ganto, katulad nung sabi ko sa inyo sa problem 1 at problem 2, so meron din yung part na nakaangat sa tubig. So ang kailangan mo lang hanapin is the volume of this shaded portion which is the volume displaced to the fluid. No, ko alin lang talaga literally yung exposed sa fluid. Yun lang yung kailangan mong hanapin. Now, in this case, this is fully submerged in water. Therefore, ang volume of the stone is also the total volume. So, you will get that 160 newton divided by 9.81. Uh, that is kilo newton, no? So, 1,000. Pa, bale, 160 divided by 9810 to get the volume of 0 0.0163 cubic meter. Okay? Now that you have the volume, pwedeng, again, ano na lang to, um, property of fluid. So, specific gravity is unit weight of the block, or I mean of the stone, divided by unit weight of water. Now, over 9.81, ano yung unit weight? 
Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. So, now that... Ito pa ba? Wait lang ha. Ah, hindi pala given. Ano? Wait. Paano ba ito? Liquid volume of this. Wait. Okay, so you have to first get Tw is equal to gamma V. <laughs> gamma of V. Tapos, kapag nakuha mo yung unit weight, so weight is 460 newton divided by the volume is 0 0.0163. So, 460 divided by 0 0.0163, 28,220 divided by 9810 so ang specific gravity of the stone is equal to 2.88 okay yan lang bakit tanong bakit po ang ginamit mo na weight is 460 kasi yun yung weight weight of the stone itself so sa bigat nung stone kapag nasa ila, nasa kalupaan siya Kalupaan, meaning yun na yun. So, weight is 460 newton. As is yung kanyang weight. In normal situations. Ngayon, kaya siya nagkaroon ng buoyant force. Kasi nga, yun na yun. Yun naman yung para sa tubig kapag in-submerge. Okay? So, SG is 2.8. Yun lang naman yung tanong sa number so, proceed na ako sa number 4. <laughs> pag tanong na lang po, pag may nalilito or something, sorry. So, ito, gusto ko i-introduce sa inyo paano kapag dalawang fluid ang exposed sa isang bagay. So, we have oil with specific gravity of 0 0.8 and water. ba? So, kita. So, itong submerged sa oil is 3 feet. 3 Tapos, itong submerge sa water is X. So, hindi natin alam yung X. Yun yung hinahanap. And then, the block is weighs. So, kulang H. So, it weighs 35,000 pounds. We have to find X. Yun lang talaga. Ba't ba may hinahanap pa yung X na yung bagay? Sure. So, kailangan natin gawin is, syempre, alamin, ano ba yung nag act na mga weight dito sa block na to. So, i-drawing ko yung kanyang free body diagram. So, definitely, merong weight na nag act due to the block itself. Now, kapag siya ay naka-submerge, or I mean partially submerge sa fluid, so we have to consider all of the fluid that is exposed in the block. Meaning, we have BF due to the oil, and then we also have BF or buoyant, buoyant force due to water. Ganyan lang ha. Kaya doon sa mga una na unang problem, kapag may isang liquid lang, so isang liquid lang yung kinoconsider. Kapag ganito karami, kung gano pen karami, kailan mo siyang i-consider. BF oil, BF water, BF of whatsoever. And then, to the summation of forces along Y, for equilibrium purposes is equal to zero. So, W is definitely equal to BF of oil plus BF water. Yan. So, dito iikot yung ating equation. Now, we have to find the composition of these different um, formulas. Okay? I mean, variables. So, weight is given Actually, that is 35,000 pounds. Okay? So, no need to get the whatsoever given man. So, 35,000 pounds. Okay, check. W. BF oil. BF of oil. That is using again the formula of gamma V. Where gamma is the liquid of oil. And the V is the volume displaced at oil only. 
kinaklaro ko ha, oil only. So, kung saan lang exposed yung body, doon lang yung consider natin. So, unit weight of the liquid is oil. So, SG is 0.80 by, um, this is pound, no? So, PSI or pound per cubic feet na lang. So, sige. So, 62.4 pound per cubic feet. Okay? English unit. Tapos, ano na to? Unit weight pa lang, no? Volume displaced. The volume displaced is equal to, given man yung kanyang cross-sectional area nandito, so 12 by 12 feet. So, pwede ko na siyang i-substitute agad as our area. So, 12 feet by 12 feet by Ano yung height? Ito ang tanong. So, the height again, inuulit ko, that is the height that is only exposed to the liquid itself. So, itong part lang na ito. And that is given 3 feet. Okay? So, we have 3 feet of the volume total. 3 by 12 by 12. And then, ito yung gamma of the liquid. Siya. Uh, proceed ako. Meron na tayong BF oil check. Now, to get the buoyant force due to the water. So, gamit lang din naman yung unit weight of the liquid multiplied by the volume displaced at water only. Okay? So, the ball, uh, I mean the unit weight of the liquid is water. So, kung water yan, matik naman. Ano? So, 62.4 pound per cubic feet and then the volume displaced is this shaded portion only yung exposed lang talaga kay water promise okay so we have cross sectional area 12 by 12 multiplied by height now what is the height the height is unknown okay so x let x be the height of the unknown so, meron na tayong W, BF oil, and BFW. So, substituting that to the equation na nandito, so, you will get, i-dictate ko na lang, <laughs> kasi i-write ko pa, kasi madudoble lang. So, 35,000 is equal to 0.8 by 62.4 by 12 by 12 by 3 plus 62.4 by 12 by 12 by x. So, ship solve calculator. So, you will get a height of sana nakukuha na 1.49512 feet. Diba? Ayan. So, ginamitan ko na lang siya nitong tatlo na. 1, 2, and 3. So, I think nasusuntan na. Kasi madali lang din actually ako. So, yun lang nga yata yung tanong. No? Tingnan nga natin sa malinis na solution. So, x is equal to, yes, tumama ako. 1.495. <laughs> so, yun lang talaga ang kailangan yung alamin. First, find for the weight. Next, find, for, find the buoyant force acting on the liquid kung liquid 1 and then the buoyant force acting on the liquid number 2 oh diba fuck okay okay last two problems wag kayo magalala ba gutom na tayong lahat madali na lang okay so next a piece of lead with a specific gravity 11.3 is tied to a 130 cubic centimeter cork whose specific gravity is 0.25. They float just in a way they are fully submerged in water. What is the weight of the lead? Ayan. So, dito, walang ka-figure-figure. Only wordings. So, kailangan natin i-analyze or imaginein kung ano ba to. So, a piece of lead. So, lead Sabihin natin, ito yung lead. Kahit ano naman, i-drawing nyo siya kung paano nyo naiintindihan yung problem. So, let L be the lead. No? So, a piece of lead with a specific gravity is 
is tied to, so English, tied to, nakatali siya sa ganto. Okay, so tied to. Kung halimbawa, ito yung is string or tali, no? So, nakatali daw siyang ganyan. Kunwari na lang. So, it is tied to a cork. So, cork B letter C. Ang kanyang volume is 130 cc. 130 cc is cubic centimeter. Okay? And then, specific gravity of the cork is given also. So, that is 0.25. They float just in a way they are fully submerged. Ayan, pumasok na yung term na fully submerged in water. Meaning, ang water surface mo is definitely nakalubog. Pak. So, ito yung water surface. No. Ayan, nasa nakalubog siya. <laughs> so, this is water. Now, ang tinatanong, what is the weight of the lead? O na. O nga, no, walang given na weight kahit na isa. Yan. Eh. Ganto naman. ba diba? Sa unang question, ay, I mean, sa unang mga problem, isang object, isang liquid, tapos dun sa number 4, isang object, dalawang liquid. Ngayon naman, sa number 5, dalawang object, isang liquid. So, paano ma'am ang treatment natin yan? So, syempre, magkakaiba yan. So, if we have the weight due to the cork, we also have the weight due to the lead. So, WC, WL. Free body diagram. Now, for the counterpart of the buoyant force, syempre, magkakaiba din. Kasi magkakaiba ng properties yung cork sa kale, di ba? So, we have buoyant force due to the cork and then buoyant force due to the lead. Okay, so dumagdag lang siya no. Naging apat. Just ko po. Kanina da tig-isa lang 'yan eh. So, ngayon dalawa na. Kaya ang dami nating hahanapin. So WC plus WL summation of ano lang to ha, forces along y. So WC plus WL is equal to BFC and BFL. Okay, so ito na. Ito na talaga siya. Ito, dito iikot ang ating equation. Now, isa-isahin natin yung unknowns. WC is cork. So, sulat ko nga dito agad. Unit weight is weight over volume. Yeah, para di tayo mawala. So, W of the cork is equal to Unit weight of the cork by the volume of the cork. Okay? And then, gi given man yung specific gravity niya na 0.25, so can I say that that is, the unit weight is equal to 0.25 by um, SI to, no? So, cubic meter, meter. So, 9.81, say, kilonewton per cubic meter unit weight and then the volume is also given at 130 cubic centimeter so 130 cm cube pwede bang i-divide ko na siya convert ko na siya sa meter so 100 cube eh diba parang 1 cent kinonvert pa 100 cm is 1 meter so para makuha mo yon i-cube mo yung 100 okay to get an m cube. Yan. Okay, 130 divided by 100 cube. Tapos, isimplify ko na para irisahang calculation mamaya. 0.25 by 9.81 by 130 divided by 100 cube. So, ang sagot is nakakilo newton. <laughs> ang laki tuloy. 0 0.00031825 kN. So ship store ko na lang sa A para di na nawawala. And then we have to find WL. 
WL is the weight of the lead. That is questioned by the problem. So, unknown pa siya, no? So, pwedeng i-question mark na muna natin si WL. Yan, di pa naman natin alam eh. Mamaya pa. So, next. Buoyant force of the cork. For the buoyant force of the cork, dito sa kabila ko na sulat, yan, PFC is equal to gamma of the liquid multiplied by the volume displaced of the cork. O, sige, VDC. Now, to get the unit weight of the liquid, that is water. Again, the unit weight of water is 9.81 kN per cubic meter. And then, the volume of the cork is ilan? Ayun na, given. 130 divided by 100 cube meter cube. Yan. Okay, so meron tayong BFC. Now, for BFL, BFL is the buoyant force due to the lead. So, that is unit weight of the liquid by the volume displaced of the lead. Or VDL. So, pareho lang. Unit weight of the liquid is water. So, 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter. Ngayon, hindi natin alam ang volume ni lead. <laughs> Kasi wala pa, no? So, VDL. Pwedeng isulat ko na muna siya as unknown. So, VDL. Now, hindi, na, hindi pa natin siya masiship solve kasi WL tas VDL. Two unknowns. So, we have to find another equation para ma-like terms natin, di ba? So, balik ako kay weight of the lead. So, weight of the lead is equal to uh, gamma of the lead multiplied by the volume of the lead. Pareho lang nitong sa C, no? Tapos, meron man tayo palang given na specific gravity of 11.3. So, pwede ko siyang magamit as 11.3 by 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter. Ayon, para ang ano na lang natin is volume of the lead. Ay, o oh, tama, VL. Anyway, yung D or displaced volume is also equal to the total volume kasi fully submerged naman siya, di ba? So, wala tayong problema. So, we have one unknown. I-dictate ko na lang din ulit <laughs> para di na ako magre-write. So, WC plus WL is equal to BFC plus BFL. Now, 0.00318225 plus 11.3 by 9.81 by x unknown is equal to 9.81 by 130 divided by 100 cube plus 9.81 by x x is unknown so ship solve okay So, nakuha nyo ba na ang volume, ito na lang sa taas ko isulat, volume of the lead VDL is equal to 0 0.00000 times 10 raised to 6. Yan nga ba eh. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9, 4, 6 cubic meter. 9, 4, 6, 6 actually. Yan. Okay. Ma maliit siya kasi nga cubic centimeter lang. So, napakaliliit ng mga dimension. Ano? So, now that we have the volume, can I multiply that back again to the unit weight of 11.3 by 9.81 to get the final weight? So, therefore, the final weight is equal to 1.0493 times 10 raised to negative 3 kilo newton. So, i-times ko na lang siya ng 1,000 para newton na lang. <laughs> Kasi ang haba, nakakapagod. Okay, so 1.05 newton. Yon na yung sagot.
Okay? Walang ano-ano. Yun lang. Okay? Tingnan ko yung mas malinis na solution rather than this. Ayan. So, as you can see in the figure, we have W cork, BF cork, W lead, BF lead. Diba? And then, ayan, inisa-isa niya rin. So, by substituting the value nga. So, ang nakuha niya na sagot is 0.0010468 kilo newton. So, definitely mas nakaround of kati kaste. So, 0 0.001 049 ano? 0493. Yun nakuha kong sagot kanina. Kasi nga, nag-round up. O, oh, di yun yung importance ng Diyos ko po. Yun ang importance ng pag store lang ng value sa calculator, no? So, anyway, malapit naman yung ating sagot. Nagkaroon lang ng discrepancy sa final answer. Yung slide ko rin. Nawala. Ayan. Live na tayo ulit. So, yun. Diba, na-check nyo rin naman siguro yung volume kanina na 0.09466. Tama ba? 9466. So, balikan ko. Ayan. Tama naman. So, discrepancy na lang yun sa final answer. Pero, sana naintindihan nyo na yung concept niya is weight of the cork, weight of the lead, tapos buoyant force of the cork, tapos buoyant force of the lead. So, basically, yan lang yun. Siya. Okay. Malapit na. Final problem, number 6. To what depth will a 2 meter diameter lug 4 meter long and specific gravity 0.425 sink in fresh water? Okay. So, alba, ito yung timber or I mean, parte ng punong kahoy. Diba, pag naglulutang siya sa ilog, nakikita nyo nakapahiga siya ng ganun. Yan to. Eh, yan. Yeah, yan. Yeah. So, may part na naka-submerge. I mean, oo. Oh, oh, naka-submerge nga siya sa tubig. Tignan. Oh. And then, given yung specific gravity, yung radius, now you will get, anong tinatanong? Depth. Itong H. Yan. So, to get that, alam nyo ba, may shortcut din dito. So, turo ko na lang siguro yung shortcut. <laughs> diba? Sabi ko sa inyo, yung equation na AS is equal to the SG of body divided by SG of the liquid multiplied by the total area. AS is the area sec in shaded part. Area of the segment. Kasi yun lang yung exposed doon sa water. Diba? Tapos... Yung specific gravity of the block or the body is the log 0.425. And then, specific gravity of the liquid water, ang SG ng water is 1. Kasi pag divide mo siya sa 9.81, so 1 lang din. And then, the A here is the total area. So, A is pi r squared. Ang radius mo naman is 1 meter. So, pi by 1 is squared. And then, you will get the area of the shaded portion na ito, na 0.425 pi. Now, to get the height, actually, this is geometry. So, area of a sector minus area of a triangle. Sector is, di ba, yung pitcha pi? Yan, pitcha pi minus area ng triangle. So, pag minus mo yun, ito, matitira mo, di ba? Oh, the, meron ka ng 0.425 by the area of the sector is 1 half r e squared theta in pi over 180 regions. Ito yon. Tapos, ang area of the triangle is 1 half e b sin theta or 1 half base times height. So, ang base niya is 
because sine theta over 2, sine theta over 2 by 2. And then, ang makukuha mo na sagot is angle 166.44 degrees. Now, to get the height, syempre cosine, uh, cosine na lang, no? cosine law or sine law. So, h is equal to 1 minus cosine theta over 2. Then, h is 0.882. So, ito yung kahalagahan ng medyo alamin kung paano itong formulas na shortcut formulas, diba? Pero, pwede mo rin kasi siyang gamitan ng weight of the lug is equal to the buoyant force displaced by the by this shaded portion. So, kung meron kang weight na 0.425 by 9.81 gamma volume no tapos volume is pi r squared pi by 2 squared by the length 4 meters ayun given naman so 4 is equal to gamma v displaced so gamma is 9.81 By the volume displaced. Now, you will get the volume. Na? Sige, bilisan ko na lang ng pag, ano. 0.425 by 9.81 by pi by 2 is squared by 4 is equal to 9.81x. So, volume is equal to 21.36 cubic meter. May volume ka na. Ang kailangan mo na lang hanapin is the area sector. I I mean, oh, area of the segment pala. Segment. So area of the segment is equal to 4 meter by the and uh, volume is area to <laughs> sala. So vol volume is area of the shaded portion by the length. So meron ka ng 21.36, meron ka ding long na length na 4. So, the area is dapat pareho. Sana pareho. 21.36 divided by 4. So, area of the segment is 5.34 square meter. Tama ba? Pi? We, bakit mali ako? 0.45 by 9.81 by pi by r squared by 4 divided by 9.24 ah diameter kasi sorry diameter is 2 meter so ang radius mo dyan is 1 sorry so 1 1 pi r squared divided by 9.81 so the volume is 5.34 so we have volume of 5.34 divided by 4. Yan. Para makuha mo na 1.34. So, pareho lang din yan ng 0.425 by mga B. Okay? So, area of the sector, I mean segment, is 1.33. Pareho siya nito. Oo. Oh. Tapos, geometry yan, actually. Pagkatapos mo makuha yung area ng shaded part, so, Geometry, area of sector minus area ng triangle. And then, you will get again the theta. Tapos, pag ako mo yung theta, ano na lang, sign, ano, I mean, trigonometry functions. So, explain ko na lang din siguro to on, ay, actually, tapos na pala yung discussion. So, Paki-check, paki-double check nito kung tama na makukuha nyo na yung theta is 166 and then the height should be 1.882. So, that is geometry man na lang po. Ano? So, uh, that ends my <laughs> discussion naman. So, since it's 11.25 na nga, I don't want to keep you waiting. And I think you will have another time to absorb all of the information. So, hindi ko na kayo, di, hindi ko na papasakitin ang ulo nyo. Basta ito lang ang sakop ng buoyancy. <laughs> no? Sana naintindihan nyo yung concept. 
na weight is equal to the buoyant force. At kapag alam nyo na yun, uh, di na kayo mawawala. Okay? So, ano pa ba? Important announcements before I end this meeting. Um, Thursday pa lang naman, no? April 5. We will, I, we still have two topics. Fundamentals of fluid flow and then orifice before time mag midterm. Ngayon, tatanungin ko kayo, ready ba kayo kung magkikwiz ako ng Thursday, April 7, na ang coverage is buoyancy, the fundament, ay, I mean, the hydrostatic forces on plane and curved, or gusto nyo ba na i-move ko na lang siya ng 11? Para meron kayong Sabado at Linggo, para mag-review. Tanong. Hello po. Guys. Sagot kayo guys. Wala. Wala nagsasagot. Natatakot na yata sila. Sige. Ano? Yeah. Actually, o oh nga, inahasil kasi ako kung gagawa pa ako ng test question ngayon. Hindi, <laughs> kasi ganto na lang. Para makareview pa kayo ng Sabado at Linggo, imove ko yung quiz ng buoyancy sa kanong hydrostatic forces sa 11. Pero sa 7, April 7, magle-lecture na ako ng fundamentals of fluid flow. Hindi yun kasama sa quiz number 1 for midterm. No, bali tatlong topics lang yung April 11 yung quiz. Tapos, pagdating kasi ng April 7, lecture on fundamentals of fluid flow. Tapos, April 13 is uh, lecture again on orifice. Tapos, April 18 is quiz number 2 for fundamentals of fluid flow and orifice tapos April 20 papatak ang midterm examination okay are you ready <laughs> bali limang topics yung, yung handle no? maigi na rin na pinag activity ko kayo para at least nagkaroon kayo ng collaborative process kung ba nalilito kayo no? kasi pinaka importanting topic din yung dalawang yun Etong buoyancy, pag nakuha nyo man na yung, yung weight, wala na kayong problema eh. Gamma V lang naman eh. So, after this one, we still have two topics. Okay ba sa inyo? Okay, 11 na lang. Sige na. <laughs> Guro itong nag na nagsasaragot. May nagsagot naman na isa. So, thank you, Miss De Leon. Ano? Uh -huh. If that is all, papakawalan ko na kayo. But, tweet lang pala. I still have an assignment for you. So, problem set number 4 and 5 is posted on the LMS later at 12. Pagkatapos nitong, ano, so, bigay ko sa inyo. And then, submit it until, I guess, 11. Ay, ne, April 12 naman pala. Eh? Okay? Announce ko na lang sa GC para ulitin ko yung announcement. Okay, kung yun lang po, maraming salamat sa inyong pakikinig at bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you po, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Ma'am, may tanong lang pala po. Ma'am, ang 11 po pala ay ano po, Monday. Ay, oo nga, ulit-ulit na naman ako ng 11. April 12. <laughs> April 12 po yung inyo na. TTH. Mama, Holy Week. Hello. <laughs> Oy, may pasok pa naman ng 12. Ah. Joke lang. Thursday na. Pag ninilay po. Maama nilay pa ka kayo. Kinetensya daw po si Palmer. <laughs> Paano ba ito? Sige, kung ano, wait lang, stop ko yun.